Sons of Zebedee by Tora Tora. This is a CBT guitar lesson for Kevin. And um, Kevin, the tuning in this is triple flat or C sharp standard. It's either that or uh, drop C sharp. Um, couldn't really find anything live to use for reference that was the, like good when you were showing the guitar player. But um, you wanted just the rhythm, no solo. It's actually a really cool rhythm here, man. Um, and it dawned on me right before I hit record here that I remember you telling me one time, go slow. So we're gonna do that. Pull up the sections, you know how these are with the timestamps so you can match everything up. Section 1A is uh, right at zero seconds. It's a full A major chord. You go an open A, barred second fret D, G, and B. And then you can keep the bar there because you're gonna go 3A and 2D now, pulling off to an open A. And then open A and 5D, pulling off to 2D. Which is why you'd want to just go ahead and leave this here, right? So. And then strum the A chord again, followed by down, up, down on the A string. Open, open, third fret, bend. In other words, it's a mouthful, but it's just. So. Right back to the open and two on the A and D, that's our A5 power chord. Matter of fact, open two, open four, and open five. It's like the old blues thing. Which I'm sure you know the, that whole type of blues riff that everyone's used. So we have. <clears throat> and then, there's a rest there. You'll hit the uh, open A and the fifth fret D again, followed by an open A. Third fret A bend to the A5 power chord again. Open two A D, open four. Right back to the full A major. So that A major, Kevin, is kind of like home base. You're gonna keep going back to that throughout. It's a C, five with the octave in it. So three A, fifth fret D and G. You can use three fingers, you can use two as, you know, as a bar, secondary finger here. But hit those three strings, A, D, A, G, A, D and G, and then go open A, come right back down to the C chord. And then just move that C chord up a whole step. That means two frets, sharp to five, seven, seven, twice, and then back to the A5 chord. But check it out. It, you'll see double dots actually throughout a lot of these sections. Um, you're going to go back and play it. So when you end on this A5, don't rest or nothing. Go right back to the beginning. Okay? And then uh, you play almost the whole thing again. Second time, no star, which is the last three chords of the song, of the section. So the second time we go. check it out you'll go and then now we're going to transition you look past the double dots to a b chord 2a fourth fret d and g so it ends up sounding like this okay and then the open a 2d again um, section 1b comes in at 16 seconds and this is similar but it has some differences the full A major chord twice and then 3A pull off to open 3E and then open A and then the full A major down down up oops do that again so down, down, up, 3A, pull off to open. Open four and open five on the A and D string. Pretty cool, man, that transition. Reminds me of something like Angus Young would do or someone, you know. A major, full chord, down, down, up. 
three A bend, open A, three E. And then the A5 power chord, open A, two D. Uh, the C5, three, five, five, A, D, and G, open A, back to the C chord, up a whole step to the D chord. And the end on the A5. Now some of these A chords, you know, you may hit the full chord, sometimes you maybe hit the A, D, and G, and sometimes it's the A and D. It's not a big deal. Uh, if you hit an extra string in it, don't let that stuff bug you. Your home, that home bass chord is the A major, and that's what's key. Um, Okay, once again, double dots, two times, second time, no star. In place of that, I'm going to play it up to the star. Right up to there. And then open 4 AD to open 5. Full A major, down, down, up. And then 3 A bend, open A, 3 A. And then the C5 again, 355ADG. Zero go. And then. So, 355, five, open A, 5777, seven, seven, so full D major. Once again, if it ends up being three strings and not four, not a big deal. So it's, um, hold on, I just lost my spot. Oh, yeah. Rest, hit it again, and then uh, go from the D to the C, 3555, five, five, open 2, 2, A, D, and G. So it's... I mean, if they wind up being power chords, Kevin, that's fine. So not a big deal in this, this type of a rhythm. Uh, 12A, slide, just descending. And then section two, 35 seconds in, open A, barred second fret D and G. And you'll go uh. So you'll strum it, rest, hit it again. Three open on the E, right back to the A chord, so. And then string mutes. And then I call these kiss chords. But uh, bar the seventh fret on the D, G, and B, go nine D and eight B. Yeah, or Rolling Stone chords, you'll go. So strum, rest, strum. Transition into 777, D, G, and B, and that's a D major chord. And then hit it again, rest, with a mute. Guitar's not sure what to think of this triple flat. Okay, and then you'll play some uh, arpeggiated notes here. You'll go. I'm loving that. So 5A with the pinky. This is a, a chord, so it's going to be a hold. 4D, third finger, 2G index. So you'll go A, D, G. And then leave the index on 2G. We're going to flip that over basically to a power chord, but with some awkward fingering. 3A middle, 4D pinky. So we have. Okay. And that comes right after the... The A5 with the octave in it. 3E bend, open E. Right back to the A chord, so... And then the string mutes. You'll see double dots. Go back, repeat all that. No star, which is... Uh, this. In place of that, you'll go the A chord, open A, second fret, D, G, and B. Hit it again. 3 E, pull off to open. And then open 2, 2, A, D, and G, 3, 5, 5, A, D, and G, and an open A. So that part, which is the tail end of section 2, the second time through. Okay, it's kind of fast, you just got to memorize it. Okay, top of page three. We've got four pages total. 50 seconds in, it's a full D major, 5A, barred seventh fret, D, G, and B. Once again, if you hit it as a power chord, that's fine, or a three string, that's fine as well. Strum, rest, two more strums. 
open A and right back to the D. So C major, just move that chord back a whole step, strum it twice, and then the full A major twice. So short rest, A5, open A2, D, and then three open E, back to A5, C5, which is third and fifth fret on the A and D, to an open A. So it's... And then this part, some stretches, lower the thumb down, 5A, 7D, first and third finger. It'll go. So strum, short rest, strum again, and then stretch the pinky up to the 9D, keep the index on 5A, so, and then lift it off and strum two times. 3-5 AD twice to open 2 AD. Rest, hit it again, and then uh, 3 open E, open 2 AD. 3-5 AD. So you see the vibe there? You got... Double dots. You're going to go back and do that again. And then... Uh, the second time no star, so you won't put that last chord on, you'll go another A chord, which you're already there. Three open on the E. Seven nine A and D. Seven times. And then ten A, twelve D twice. And then three two on the A. That leads into the course. Sons of Zebedee. One minute and six seconds in, you'll go open two AD, so it's their A5. So. See, hold on. Okay, check it out. The A, A5 twice, and then three open A to three E, and that has double dots times three, and then the A5 again, and then the C5, three, five, five, A, D, and G, open A, back to the C, up a whole step to the D twice. Okay? Then you'll see double dots telling you to go back and start it over, second time no star. So you're doing the... Let's see. Yeah, and then no star in place of that. The full C major, 3A, 5th fret, D, G, and B. You'll go strum, strum. And then move it up to a D major, which is two frets higher, or a whole step up. Same beat. Um... One second here. It's so that's the rhythm. I thought something felt weird there. All right. Um. And then coming off of that C and D, full A major, just let it ring. A series of repeats comes in at 125, um, then we go to section 5, a minute and 55 in. There's a lot of uh, rhythm sections in here, about 7 or so, maybe 8. A uh, minute 55 in, so we have... Yeah. Pretty straightforward. The A5, open A, 2D, and then uh, on the A string, 3, open, 3, open, and then 3 on the low E. Times 3, so double dots, 3 times. You do 3 of those, and then the A5, open 2 AD, C5, 3 A, 5 D, open A, back to the C5, open A, and then 5, 7, which is a D5 power chord. Um, then you'll go back to the beginning 
Okay. Um, yeah, because it's got double dots on that. Well, you have. Then. It's a repeat. It's a repeat. Uh, three times of that, the C major twice, the D major twice. Alright, section six, two minutes, 26 seconds, more of these Rolling Stones kiss chords. Um, so, ninth fret bar, D, G, and B, strum. Do it again, immediately followed by 11 D, 9 G, which you're barring, and 10 B. So it's right back to the nines and then quick rest followed by string mutes you do that three times and then an extra string mute into the seventh fret bar on the D G and B three times alright and then moving on you go right back do it again um, but it's only two times followed by two string mutes you'll go and Kevin, you don't have to throw in the string mutes. I, I like them in there. It adds a little percussive element that I think is really cool. Top of page four, we're almost done here. Ninth fret, barred again on the D, G, and B. Strum, rest, strum again, followed by the 11, 9, 10. So it's... And then back to the nines, but you're going to strum it four times. So it's... All right. Uh, solo for the rhythm comes in at 2 minutes 42 seconds. All that is, Kevin, is repeats of prior sections in the song, and those are all labeled in your tabs. Um, the next new part would be right after that, 3 minutes 26 seconds, string mutes once again, basically, you know, top 5 strings.